Welcome to the Money Marketing Podcast. Today's episode is part of a special series with our sister publication, Mortgage Strategy, and is in association with Royal London. Royal London would like to get advisors and their clients thinking about the benefits of having well-being support services as part of a protection plan. Do listen out for all episodes in the series. Hello, I'm Katie Pigden, editor of Money Marketing. Welcome to the third episode in our series in association with Royal London. Today, I'm joined by another member of um, Royal London as well, and we've got someone from Track Active Me. So, if I can allow them to introduce themselves, Christina, can we start with you? Absolutely. Good morning, Katie. Christina Rigby here from Royal London, and um, I am leading the development and delivery of our new helping hand proposition. Excellent. And Ian. Yeah, hi everyone. I'm Ian Prangley and I'm uh, the founder of Track Active Me and a physiotherapist uh, from background as well. Excellent. Um, so, Christina, we've obviously done a couple of episodes already talking about the Helping Hand series. Can you, um, uh, sorry, the service that you've got, could you tell us a little bit more about that and why you're working with Track Active Me on this? Yes, absolutely. So as we've discussed before, Katie, um, we have had a helping hand proposition in the market for quite some time, which helped to support customers experiencing life shocks, so bereavement, cancer, strokes, that type of thing. And what we've done is add a new element on that, which is a helping hand to stay healthy. Um, And what we were trying to do there was actually help customers get access to really good preventative support and early care medical services that will help them to nip like little small issues in the bud. Um, and as we all know, some of the top reasons people need to take time off work um, are musculoskeletal issues. A lot of people suffer from bad backs and various other injuries and conditions that mean it's impossible for them to be uh, pain-free and sometimes even to get to work. And that was one of the reasons why we wanted to find a partner who could help us in that space and provide a really good service that will help customers to address some of these issues. And that's where Track Active come in. Excellent. Um, Ian, so could could you expand on that a little bit more for us and and, and tell us more about how Track Active works? Yeah, absolutely. So Track Active Me is a, it's an application for people to uh, self-manage musculoskeletal conditions and also prevent musculoskeletal uh, conditions from happening in the first place. Uh, so the application itself uh, uses uh, a, an assessment, um, uh, a, a basically like a digital assessment that someone can run through themselves on the application if they have uh, a niggle, uh, an injury, uh, and the application uh, helps to provisionally diagnose that condition and determine if they can self-manage that condition or if they need further medical care. And if uh, they are able to self-manage the condition, then the application provides exercises to help them do that as well as other uh, health information. Uh, and on the other hand, if someone is currently healthy but they want to uh, do exercises to keep their joints um, healthy, their muscles strong, then the application uh, provides that for them as well. Excellent. Um, so, Christina, how did you find Track Active Me to sort of realise that these this was a good one to partner with um, and a, a service to offer people signing up for the protection policies? So, um, we found uh, Track Active Me because we were working with our reinsurers to try and find companies that had medical uh, tests, medical clinical trials and evidence that what they actually did made a difference and actually worked. And in this this case, we were looking for someone who had who could offer online physiotherapy that had a track record that showed that if you took their advice and you did the um, exercises, that it did actually like reduce the severity of your pain and your condition. Um, and we did a lot of due diligence ourselves into that. And we also worked with our reinsurers who had um, also discovered Track Active Me through their um, through their uh, their 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 own um, due diligence as well. Um, so as, as Katie, as we've discussed before, um, in terms of who we partner with, it's it's really, really super important to us that we choose partners that did have that medical credibility um, and could actually prove it. So the fact that our reinsurers had um, discovered Track Active and had uh, been impressed by their medical credentials, we then did our own due diligence into them 
um, in terms of cybersecurity and data governance and all the other really important aspects that matter when you're, um, you know, referring your customers on, on to, to companies to help them with, with their own medical information. And that was all that, that all came through really strongly as well. So it's that combination when we were looking for a company with really strong medical credentials, really safe with data, really good with technology, um, that, uh, that Track Active came to the fore. Excellent. And uh, I think you mentioned previously, Christina, how like some of these services complement each other, that elsewhere in sort of protection world, we might just sort of have people sort of saying, oh, yeah, we have this, this and this and this. But these actually work well together. Um, they're sort of being able to refer other sort of services on. Is that right? You're right, Katie. So um, with the way that we've set up Help in Hand to Point zero is we actually ask customers to complete a short assessment and we, we've had a wee chat with Live Smart in one of the first episodes. Um, and what that does is it really what we were trying to do there is really try and help improve healthcare navigation and make it easy for customers to um, establish where their health was at and easily find support for the areas that came up as highlighted as something that they needed to address. So, so where Track Active came in here is if through the assessment, um, it comes through that they are having some sort of issues muscul- with musculoskeletal conditions. Um, at the end, we give them a, a report, a full personalized health report, but we then signpost them on to our partners. Um, and obviously, if musculoskeletal came up as an issue on their to-do page, Track Active would be right at the top of their to-do list and they would quickly and easily be able to click on a link and it would take them straight through to the app where they can sign up and use the app. Now, the good thing um, about the other partners that we've got on board is Track Active Me have also started to have chats with our other well-known partner, um, Red Arc. So if there was ever a, a situation where um, somebody needed sort of additional support, then Track Active Me can refer that customer onto Red Arc. Similarly, um, a lot of the time, conditions like musculoskeletal can really cause you to have quite a lot of discomfort and pain. And, and that can actually get, uh, get you into a situation where you've got quite a low mood. And if that comes about as well, again, there's a partnership, a, a connection between Track Active and Thrive and the customer can easily be signposted towards Thrive to, to address the fact that if you've got sore back um, and you're feeling in pain all the time, that's probably going to have an impact on your, your mental health. And we can help with both of these. So our key overarching aim is to really try and help improve healthcare navigation and make it as easy as possible for customers to find that support within our wellbeing ecosystem. Ian, what type of things would people be asked so they can sort of identify if they do have a problem or, or like you say, like a, a niggle that they're they're not too sure of? Yeah, so it, it, I mean, it, people will obviously that they'll they'll know if they have uh, you know their uh, back pain or so forth. So pain is obviously a trigger. Um, it's our natural sort of trigger to 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 seek help or to uh, do something about it. So if they have a you know pain, then they can go through the application um, and the assessment in the application. Um, and there's various questions around their symptoms and how their symptoms came about. Um, and that gives a, a very good indicator of, uh, you know, whether they can self-manage their condition um, and their, that exercise, is, uh, exercise being the mainstay of, of uh, managing and preventing musculoskeletal conditions, they'll have an understanding whether that that is what they need to, to go through. And as Christina said, uh, in the case that they you know, they need additional help, they need medical care, then the application will refer on. Great. Um, so, Christina, how, how much of a problem is this? Is is this something that Royal London seeing people have had to sort of claim on previously? Um, how, how's it sort of worked? Because I know sometimes if we do get a niggle, we could be tempted to ignore things, which is obviously a worry in itself. So it's good that there's services like this to try and sort of either reassure or put, point someone in the right direction. But yeah, I just wondered if you've got any um, things of how much of a problem it's been or... Yes, I mean, I mean, I touched on earlier that um, if you look at the ONS sickness absence uh, information that musculoskeletal is one of the top reasons people take time off work. Um, due to sickness and that actually um, we can corroborate that in terms of our income protection claims. Um, musculoskeletal uh, issues are in fact one of our top reasons for people having to claim on their income protection plans as well. So we were coming at it from a, an evidence-based um, scenario using our, our own information as well as that of the statistics that are 
available from from the, the government. Um, and what we are looking to hopefully do is offer not just customers with income protection, but all customers who start to experience, you're quite right, Katie, a little bit of a niggle, a little bit of a shoulder pain, um, a, a little pain in your knee when you started to walk up and down stairs. But it's not bad enough that you maybe want to go to your GP about it because we all know how stretched the NHS mm. resources are. And you might not feel it's bad enough that you don't actually um, want to go to a private physio. Um, it's that type of thing, but it's these type of things that if you nip them in the bud early and you actually go onto this app, which can, you put it in all, as, as Ian said, you put all the information in, it will actually tell you um, what it thinks you've got and it will then give you exercises to deal with it. Then you're getting access to all that really good early care. Um, through an app. And the thing with Track Active as well is it does nudge you every day. It's really good um, because it's on your phone as an app. It comes through every day and reminds you to do your exercises and it asks you how you're getting on with them. If they're too hard, if they're too easy, it will change um, accordingly uh, on that basis. So it's it's actually, it's it's a brilliant app. And we've, we've had people within Royal London try it out as well, who have been diagnosed with um uh, conditions through a, visiting a physio have then gone on and put the same information into the app and have had the same diagnosis and actually access to the exercises through their phone. Whereas uh, visiting a, a physio, sometimes you get told these exercises and maybe something's written down on a bit of paper, um, but you don't always remember what to do or exactly how to do it. And the beauty of the app is it's right there in front of you with a, a little video and a little diagram telling you exactly how to do it and then little nudges every day. Um, so it's just it's a great app for anyone that um, has any kind of musculoskeletal problems at all. And they can go in, as I say, they, they can get the information on their phone and it will remind you very gently every day to go in and do your exercises, which is, is my, it, uh, Ian, it's music to a physio's ears that you're, <laughs> you're doing your exercises because that's what it's all about, isn't it? Ian, Absolutely. is that where the name comes in, Track Active Me, that it is because it is following you, it's sort of prompting you, it's telling you, is that how sort of some of the name came about or is there a, a reason behind that? Yeah, absolutely. It was, uh, we, we actually, as a, as a company, uh, we developed um, before this application, we developed exercise prescription for physiotherapists and that's used within clinics and also the NHS. Um, and so that's our Track Active Pro uh platform which is uh you know for professionals for practitioners and track active me is for the for the individual where they can self-manage so that's where yeah. the name came about excellent uh, we've obviously heard from christina as to how royal london's gone about finding these partners what's it like on on your perspective ian for working with royal london and and what they're doing to sort of increase these services for people yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, it, it's been fantastic, and I, I think um, you know, uh, to to really work with a, a forward thinking insurer, um, and and Christine has really pushed that along, and and the thing that we like about it as well is is working with other partners in that digital space. So on the mental health side, um, you know, in in the um, with uh, with others around other health conditions, because there is that. Um, you know, people with back pain are more prevalent, uh, to, more likely to have depression. So that joined up approach and being part of a, a larger sort of technical, uh, you know, a digital health ecosystem, um, we really enjoy doing that uh, with Royal London. Great. Uh, Christina, could you tell us a little bit more about how advisors can help um, spread this message? Obviously, it's um, through advised policies, I, I gather, and obviously that their clients. Is, is it new or existing or what's the deal there? Yeah. So at the moment, we have made it available to um, all the protection plans, so any type of protection plan that we sell through the intermediated channel, so through advisors, um, and that's for any plans that start after the 1st of January. Um, we will be rolling it out to existing customers um, as soon as we possibly can, and in fact, we're working on that right now, so um, watch this space in that regard. Um, with regards to how um, this can help advisors and what advisors can do for it, um, as you imagine, Katie, we've um, involved a number of advisors whilst we were developing um, Helping Hand to, to, to see what 
would what can we do what can we deliver that will help you to explain to customers what protection offers them that's not just about the payout that's not just about the sort of check at the end of the day what else can we do to to make protection more engaging and appealing to to your customers and it was this kind of like well protect my health against the worst as well as protect my financial resilience should something happen and that's where this has all come about. And the experience that the advisors that we've had involved in the pilot, um, that they, they've definitely sort of said that being able to talk to customers about this type of support, especially very early on in the conversation, really does help to push that conversation on and help the advisors to, to really sort of get them in, get get them um, engaged in protection and what it can offer them, is especially in the times post COVID or where at the end of COVID, and um, whilst it's still quite difficult to access um, a lot of these services, and and also people are, are obviously facing um, difficulties with regards to the cost of utilities and everything going up, so they're going to be looking at what can I afford and what can't I afford, and um, protection now offering all these additional services like the online physio, like the mental health, like the GPs, like the heart health and access, access to exercise and things. Um, all of that comes at a very affordable price if you buy a protection plan. And that's where um, advisors are sort of seeing that we can really help to push, push that conversation about why protection is really good and you will get value from day one. It's not just um, only when you claim. Hopefully, you might never claim. That's the idea, really, um, is you, you don't really want to have to claim. Um, so you, But you want value out of the thing that's coming out of your bank account every month. And, and services like Track Active Me, access to physio like on a daily basis, 24-7, um, something like that is, is hugely valuable and something that customers can, can easily relate to and see as being part of the package of protection. And, and how would clients access this? You mentioned it's a, it's a great app. Is, is there something that they come via Royal London to make sure that they're obviously it's, you know, within their sort of policy service or, or just something that they're encouraged to use? Yeah, absolutely. So the way it happens is um, when the customer um, customer puts their plan in force and 30 days after that, uh, so we let the dust settle because a lot of the time protection is bought as part of a house move. So there's loads of stuff going on. So 30 days kind of after the plan goes in force, hopefully things have kind of settled down a little bit. And we send an email out to the customer uh, saying to them, hi, this is Royal London here. You've got all this good stuff here. Um, take advantage. And the customer basically, because a very simple email, they click through to that and it takes them to the LiveSmart site where they register and they complete a short assessment. And at the end of that assessment, they'll get a very personalized health report and signposting to all of our other partners. Now, the signposting happens on that to-do page um, and it's ranked in the order of what in the assessment they have put in that would suggest their top focus should be. So if musculoskeletal came out at top, that um, track active me would be the top of the, the list. Um, if a customer, for example, has a bad back, um, a high BMI, and low mood, then what we would probably do in that instance is actually we would we would encourage them to speak to one of our 24-7 GPs to just to talk to the GP about the fact they've got several issues going on and where should they start? Because if, if you have got a, a sore back, you're overweight and you, you, you've got low mood, well, what, do you try and fix your back first? Do you try and lose weight? But how do you lose weight if you can't do exercise very easily? So it's that kind of thing. So that's why we've built this ecosystem with all of these brilliant partners within it um, that, that will be able to self-refer or, or able to signpost the customer with two other partners. So the, they might speak to the GP first and the GP will say, well, actually, the first thing you should do is try and see if you can alleviate your back pain because if you can get that under control, lots of the other things will follow. You'll find it easier to do exercise. You won't be in as much pain, so your mood might improve. I'm not a physician. I'm just guessing here. But that, that to me is like where this has come from. And in that case, they can go to download Track Active and start using it straight away. And if some of the other apps or things uh, they want to do at the same time, that's fine. If they want to add them on later, so they might want to address their back um, before maybe they try and do more exercise through Pi, that's absolutely fine. It's it's up to the customer. We go, we allow them to go at their pace. 
Yeah, it's like what Ian said earlier, that these things don't really exist as a standalone problem. They might sort yeah. of um, all relate to each other. Um, Ian, before we do finish up, is there any final words from you, something that you maybe haven't had a chance to say up until this point? No, I mean, I, I think it's just the, for, from our perspective, um, we, we've we spent a lot of time in, in developing uh, the application and you know the, the 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 research behind it and um, the development behind it, and it's just uh, it, it's really pleasing to sort of see it come to uh, fruition in terms of uh, rollout to uh, customers and and being there to help them. Um, as Christina said, you know the, if we can get to conditions early, we can stop them becoming more chronic um, and um, you know better quality of life. And so, yeah, we're very pleased to be. Uh, working with Royal London and um, seeing their customers benefit. Thank you. And and Christina, anything um, finally from you? Um, Delighted um, to be able to bring this type of service to our customers. Delighted to be um, given the opportunity to work with really excellent partners like Track Active. And we are just hoping that advisors and customers um, are as excited about it as we are um, and that they, when they get the, the email, when they get the invitation, um, we really, really do hope that they take um, take us up on this offer um, because it's a genuine offer. We're a mutual and we're, we're here to, um, you know, support our customers. It's we don't have state, you know, shareholders to pay. So for us, it really is about generating this customer centric um, proposition that will help them to stay healthy. Excellent. Well, thank you both for joining us today. It's been really interesting to sort of hear about the services and say how they're all um, connected with each other. And I hope agree with you, Christina, that advisors um, listen to it and obviously encourage their clients as well, because I know protection can be a difficult sale. It shouldn't be. Um, but it is that sort of peace of mind thing that people can actively um, try and obviously improve their current situation, which would be wonderful. So, so thank you both. Thanks, Katie. Thank you, Bye. Katie. Thanks very much. If you're looking for more information on Track Active Me and the other wellbeing services available from Royal London, go to advisor.royallondon.com forward slash helping hand.